Well guys, comedian Lee Mack is cancelled. So really sorry if you find him funny or you think his comedy's really, really good. You're not allowed to anymore because he is cancelled. And I'll tell you why. As all of you know, and I think about 0.05 of you care, the National Television Awards were on on Tuesday night, and Lee Mack won an award for his game show, The 1% Club. His award was presented to him by Mo Gilligan and Jill Scott, Lioness Jill Scott. He went up to receive the award, and of course, being Lee Mack, he made lots of jokes. And then someone tweeted, Lee Mack's about to get cancelled, and for some reason, after that one tweet, the media picked up on it, and loads of newspapers and online news sites are now running stories that Lee Mack is cancelled and is trending on social media. What did he actually say that could possibly have got him cancelled? Let's have a little look at what I think might be the only two jokes that could possibly have got him cancelled, and they're funny. Yeah, they are. So this is the first moment where he's obviously referring to someone he works with behind the scenes on the show, perhaps a producer or a director, I don't know, who's standing right next to him on stage. Well, I don't know who set the microphones up, but I think they thought he was going to do the talking. Um, uh, Ant and Jack were going to win it. I thought that was funny, and I'm pretty sure Lee Mack would have told that guy before, I'm going to do this joke about you being short and the way the microphone is set up. And I doubt the guy minded. I'm, I'm pretty much 100% sure on that. Because if that guy doesn't mind that Lee Mack's making fun of the fact that he's not a very tall man, then there is no problem here and no reason for him to be cancelled. Now here's the other joke which I think probably people, whoever these people are, have got upset about. <laughs> To receive a sex toy like this off Jill Scott is an absolute delight and a pleasure. People often say to me, why is the 1% Club so successful? Well, people come up to me in the street and they say, Lee, do you know why I love the show? And I try not to make eye contact, I just keep my head down, walk on, so I haven't got a clue. But so he's referring to the award he's been given as a sex toy and being given it by Jill Scott and that's it. I, I can't see any other kind of questionable jokes at all in his acceptance. I don't understand what the fuss is about. This was after the watershed. He can make jokes about sex toys if he wants. He didn't swear. He didn't cuss or say anything, you know, really awful. He just made a silly joke about a sex toy, about the NTA award looking like a sex toy. So, yeah, that's it. There's nothing, surely, right? Uh, why would anyone dream of cancelling someone over just silly jokes? And they're jokes the audience liked. I, I think it's utterly pathetic. And he's rebutted it, but he may have to do stronger rebuttals later on. It's frustrating because I think of all the comedians who I think in this country you actually think of, when you think of Lee Mack and you think he's a, like a proper comedian, he makes proper jokes, he works hard to construct his jokes. And I just think... He's not like one of these other comedians who just seem to talk a lot and there doesn't seem to be any jokes in there, they're just talking. He has actual jokes and I think it was funny. It was funny. It's ridiculous. The, even the notion that he should be cancelled is silly. Very silly indeed. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you again for another video later perhaps if I haven't been cancelled myself by then.